the sprinklers are on in the outfield. <laughs> As if it couldn't get any worse for Oakland's defenders. They're trying to cool them off. Hose them down. <laughs> we saw this in Goodyear in our very first game in spring training. Bob doesn't see the humor. No, I don't blame him. There they go. That fire is raging. Out there in um, the top of the power stacks in right center field. And look at this. Firemen arriving on the scene. Two different ladders. They've got it surrounded. And on the verge, hopefully, of putting that thing out. Well, they're on top of their game. Boy, you're not kidding. No. That's getting it done. Cincinnati's finest right there. On top of their game, and we salute them and say thank you. The time he's used that tan colored glove he had a dark glove that was a little bit older and it was very comfortable but he's got to the point now where he likes this glove he's broken it in see the fire alarm up there right underneath the scoreboard the light flash of field it's not intentional Lexi it's just a fire alarm that has been triggered here at Rancher Center see the hitters background that black tarp area Behind the fence in center. That's basically where you're going to pick up the baseball out of the pitcher's hand. In first base this afternoon. And I think uh, the bees are creating kind of a buzz here. <laughs> here we get some guys out there with some smoke. Let it be played over the PA system and now. Don't worry. Be happy. I see what you did there again. <laughs> Gregor Blanco. are delayed for a lot of reasons. I don't think I've ever seen a game delayed by bees. That's B E E S. Not in the bat either, but on the camera. They have swarmed right on the screen behind home plate where the uh, Robo camera, the remote operated, is located. And uh, you can see how many of them are there. They came out and took a look at that, probably trying to find a beekeeper. Something's going on out here in. Uh Left field. Left fielder Mike Carp is looking out towards the wall. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Get in the catcher's equipment bag. That would. You know what? That, that's. He drew the short straw. He's, 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 he's a, yeah. He's a braver man than I am. I, I wonder if this is working. He can only he can only get them riled up. That, that's the way I, I look at it. Thunderstorms going on in the area, and um, we've lost a little bit of the candle power here. See some of the lost light banks right there. Back at Tropicana Field, we are a little under 10 minutes into this delay. The power delay related to the storm in the air we're in the third inning to right and we just had a bit of a power failure it looks like uh, lights. several lights just went on the blink so here comes Joe Madden uh, chatting with Jordan Baker I'm saying I don't want my guys to hit without proper lighting 10 minutes ago the lights flickered and now Kershaw, that one warm-up toss you could throw to show that he threw it with anger. Looks like Joe's saying something to the effect of I'm protesting on the basis of, and it might be, yeah, yep, the it's for this uh, big homestand, Dodgers and Cardinals, and the lights are going out, and they've all gone out. A power outage here at Wrigley Field. What 
what happened down there? I don't there? know. I have no idea. I know that there was uh, a power surge and whatever generator is feeding our truck went out. We had to delay. Not only did our truck go out, but word came down that because there was no video feed, New York in the replay room was not getting what they needed. We had a bit of a delay when Terry Collins went out and Ed Yost, they got together, talked to Joe Torre, who is here. And for a while, these managers evidently agreed to play the game without the use of replay. Oh, that's, that's a cat a squirrel. That's a cat. Remember, here, a member of the grounds crew coming out there to hopefully pick up the cat. There it is. Yep. Ow! <laughs> Ow! 